We, we'll pick up a little bit where we left off. And what I would like to say is that there is a lot of hype. Companies tell us that the answer is in the next best thing that they have um, that they would like you to buy. And, and of course, there is I, at times a little truth to that. Um, I think it's important to recognize, my opinion still is, that the dentist is the most important part, but we can make things a little easier on ourselves if we choose the right instrumentation and we gather the right information. So the first thing that I think has changed and will continue to change the landscape of, of implant dentistry is how we make impressions. Uh, digital impressions are, are part of where we're going for a variety of reasons. Once the clinician becomes comfortable with obtaining a digital impression, they can usually do it in half the time required for a, a conventional impression. And the number of, of missed impressions can be halved also. So it becomes a very efficient pathway um, to achieving the outcomes that you, you want to look for. Digital impressions are not challenging. They still use for implants and impression coping. The impression coping is, uh, is relatively straightforward and the key is the coping itself is unique to every type of implant for every type of manufacturer. The software does not see the interface between the, the impression coping or scan body and the implant and it does not really need the interface between the scan body and the soft tissue. We like to record or impress the soft tissue form